from captive Israel that moans in lowly exile here until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, O Israel, to thee shall come Emmanuel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We come, sisters and brothers, on this, our final push towards Advent. Christ is coming. He is the Lamb foretold by John. We come before the Lord inviting him into our hearts to look within and bring us healing and wholeness as we seek forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the truth who sets us free. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the fullness of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will raise a virtuous branch for David, who will reign as true king and be wise, practicing honesty and integrity in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel dwell in confidence. And this is the name he will be called, the Lord, our integrity. So then the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks, when people will no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But, as the Lord lives, who led back and brought home the descendants of the house of Israel out of the land of the north and from all the countries to which he had dispersed them to live on their own soil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace until the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice 
and your poor in right judgment. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace until the moon fails. For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace until the moon fails. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace until the moon fails. Alleluia. of the house of Israel, who gave the law to Moses on Sinai, come and save us with outstretched arms. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophets. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (coughs) Jeremiah, as we listen to him today, talks in terms of just as the Lord who lives brought, led back home the descendants of the house of Israel to live on their own soil. God is bringing us back. God is bringing us back home to ourselves, to him, and to each other. Don't forget, tonight we have an opportunity to look within in our seven o'clock penitential services, which will give us a chance to look within and see where we have gone wrong and to seek the Lord's pardon forgiveness. Even though this will not be a sacramental confession in the sense of having absolution, Surely when we come to the Lord in these times seeking his love, with perfect contrition, surely the Lord hears our prayer. And so we come today recognizing in the readings the person of Joseph 
being introduced into the Christmas story. And we see Jesus, Joseph coming to recognize that somehow Mary has been found to be with child, obviously through the Holy Spirit. But Joseph does not know that yet. He is a man of honor, and so instead of staying by the law and denouncing her publicly, because if he knows he wasn't responsible for the child, then who is? He could have taken her to the law and said, look, she has committed adultery, but Joseph was not that sort of person. He was a man of honor, we are told, wanting to spare Mary publicity because that would have spoilt her whole future. So there was a man of compassion, a man of honor, who wanted to divorce her informally, but the angel of the Lord comes to tell him what has happened. And so Joseph listens to the angel, trusts in God's word through the angel, and took Mary to his home. It's little bits of the puzzle being put in. The jigsaw puzzle slowly will be complete at Christmas when we see the birth story complete. Each one of us has a place, a part to play. Joseph was needed. Even though he wasn't needed to be the father of the child in the ordinary sense of the word. But he suddenly was needed as the foster, child, foster parent of the child. Likewise, we are all needed by the Lord for his own purposes, his own needs. There is a place for each one of us in the mission that God has for us. And today, I invite you to reflect, as St. Joseph might have done, to see what is God saying to me? What does he want of me? And may I have the courage to do as he asks. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come into our lives more and more that we may be truly people of honor, people of compassion. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for true goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for true goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thee thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Julian our Bishop and all who serve your people. 
Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, espouse of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our brother, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord. Keep watch, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, waiting in expectation for the Lord who comes into our lives. Thanks be to God. Rejoice to the full in the glory that is yours. Give thanks to the Lord who has called you to his love. Rejoice to the full in the glory that is yours. Sing out.